If you're not already familiar with it, New World is the upcoming and long-awaited MMORPG from Amazon Game Studios. And that wait is almost over, given that New World is finally launching to the public on August 31st. Recently, I was given five hours to run around, leveling up my own character from scratch, a process that had me venturing through the very first zone, Windsward, which spans the first 10 levels of gameplay and then some. After that, I jumped into a session of New World's PvPvE mode, Outpost Rush, and finally, I was given a tour through one of New World's endgame dungeons, the Lazarus Instrumentality, which is aimed at parties of five characters who have reached level 60. That's a mouthful, but there's a lot here, so let's get to it. The first part of the preview event had to be starting from ground zero, and this was no mistake. Beginning a fresh character, New World gave me the free reign to slow down and experience the Island of Eternum through the eyes of a fresh survivor of a shipwreck. And let me tell you, this place is vast. Once you get yourself off the beach and closer to Windsward Settlement proper, you're treated to grand vistas and gorgeous, flora-rich valleys where you can lay down your campsite and just watch time pass by the fire if that's what you want. There are plenty of discoverable locations that pop up on your compass as you approach them. I casually stumbled upon plenty of caves and abandoned farmlands, and of course there's the rustic yet thoroughly lived-in Windsward Settlement, but the world itself is also quite malleable and unpredictable. For one, the landscape is dotted with resource nodes, like trees, bushes, and boulders, that blend right into the background. And you can actually harvest any of these resources that you see. But like I said earlier, it's unpredictable. As you wander around and find your bearings at a low level, you will also run into enemies that are far higher level than you as corruption slowly takes hold of the region. This can lead to some genuinely scary encounters. For example, at one point, a group of monsters chased me all the way up to the gates of Windsward Settlement. And then I was ferried off to Outpost Rush, New World's 20 vs 20 player PvPvE battleground. I thought it was fun when I tried it out a few weeks ago and focused on attacking and defending bases with a bow and a nice gauntlet, but this time I chose a completely different build, and went with a Fire Staff and a Great Axe, both of which are useful for crowd control and melee range. And instead of going head to head with the opposite team, I spent more time exploring Nothingos Island. In fact, I finally made my way down to the Corrupted Portal, which I skipped during my preview of Outpost Rush a few weeks ago, while collecting Azoth and infused wood to haul back to my fortress. It was a markedly different experience, showing me that even if you're not big into PvP, there will still be plenty of ways to go off and purely focus on PvE stuff while still contributing to your team's success. The final portion of the preview took me to the Lazarus Instrumentality, an endgame dungeon with some genuinely tough bosses that took strategizing from the entire group to get through after several tries. As an avid Elder Scrolls Online player, this reminded me of some of ESO's more recent dungeons, like Scale Color Peak, where it's very easy to wipe unless each party member does the right thing at the right time. But finally getting through that pesky boss or that really challenging puzzle for the first time feels like a well-earned victory, and my party shared several of those moments together. But much like last time, I had a weak connection to Amazon Games' test server, which is located opposite me on the East Coast and often averaged about 200 to 300 milliseconds of ping. And despite that fact, I still managed to have a smooth enough connection to play for five hours without too many issues. Besides a few crashes and some sticky combat when the lag spiked, New World still managed to remain coherent overall. In some, New World seems to have a bit of everything, but it doesn't sound like you'll ever be hemmed into one style of play if you prefer PvP over PvE or vice versa. And whether or not these systems actually come together with just as much nuance ultimately hinges upon how popular New World ends up being once it launches next month. But right now, especially after what I've been shown, I'm pretty optimistic. For more on New World, check out our recent previews about Post Rush and Emery Excavations. And for everything else in the world of video games, stick with IGN.